Hello everyone, my name is Raphael and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create an account at SiteGround. Uh, well, SiteGround is basically one of the hosting companies recommended by WordPress.org. Uh, this is a company based in Spain and if you look on Google you will see a bunch of positive reviews about this hosting company which is a good thing. Um, well, first things first what you have to do is go to their website. I'm going to give you the link in the description. Once you get there, you will see uh, these four options. The first three options are uh, just share plans and the last one is for dedicated um, services. And well, what I use for my clients uh, are the, the WordPress one and the WooCommerce uh, hosting options. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the WordPress um, hosting option. So what you have to do is just click on Get Started. And this will uh, get you to this interface, which is basically all the chart plans explained uh, with their features and pricing. Um, what I use for uh, e-commerce, uh, really, really small e-commerce stores or um, corporate websites is the Grow Big plan. Um, I'm gonna get this one so you have to click on get um, plan and this will ask you for um, your domain if you want to register a domain with them you just have to uh, just type the name of the domain you want to purchase for your brand or company here uh, you just select their extension um, for the domain um, they have plenty you know, of options and uh, you can choose if you already have a domain you just have to click here and in this option and just enter your domain and once this is done you have to click on proceed and this will get you to this interface to enter your information so um, I have this already um, with information in our tab and well, what they basically ask you is for your email and password. Um, then you have to enter your country information. Uh, the company information is optional, just in case if you don't have company information and this uh, information here, you can leave it blank. And then you have to enter your payment information here. Uh, you can pay with credit card. But if you want to pay with PayPal, they also offer that option, but you have to contact them uh, via chat or uh, via email and they will give you a payment link. Uh, after that, you have to confirm your purchase here. Um, if you want to change the plan that you um, already uh, chose at last minute, you can just click here and you can uh, you know, see all the plans. Um, that they offer and also if you want to change your data center um, based on your location you can uh, change it as well in my case I'm in Chile so I'm gonna use this one here which is America and last thing is the, the period so what I use um, for me and for my clients it's typically one um, it's a uh, one year 12 month so um, if you want to add extra services you just click on them if you don't just leave it blank and here you will see the final price that you're going to pay and last thing to do is just confirm um, the terms of services and privacy policy and um, if you want to get offers on your email you can check you can check this if you don't just leave it blank and then you have to pay uh, once you pay, it will uh, show you a screen that is processing your payment and when it's done, uh, you will get um, an email like this one here. Obviously, this is in Spanish, but you will see um, the one in, the, in your country uh, language. And this is basically saying that my account is already activated and this is basically it. So if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. And if you like the video, please uh, share and subscribe. And that's it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.